Say none of you niggas got big enough nuts to come do so. Really, nigga? I mean, who want it? Omni. Can you get just grab your neck? Now you stunning. Stomping through your hood like who run it? Drum and hold like 200. Today I smoke like two onions. Swear I came out two lungs. I do this shit for my youngest and my niggas that stuck it. What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a review on my Bell Street Star. Um, this is the entry level of the Bell Star series. There's three. There's going to be this one, which is the Bell Street Star, which cost you about $500. Um, if you want a designed one with all the paint and all that good stuff, it's going to run you an extra $50. So $550. If you're going to go with the second one, which is the Bell Race Star, that's going to cost you $700 to $750. And then you have the Bell Pro Star, which is straight up $1,200. Not doing it. <laughs> so um, then you have, this one comes in five different shell sizes. So you have um, ranging from extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. Um, this one also comes with a flex liner system. All that means to you and me is that if you fall and you hit your head in that fall, the liner on the inside it has kind of like a it moves on the inside so it'll absorb most of the impact it's dot it's snell and it's ece certified and it's pretty much available in every, in almost every color you can think of it has a removable breath guard and a chin curtain so let's move on to the fitting I kind of I have a 59 centimeter head, but and I and according to that I would be a large. I put it on, it's kind of big on me, so it was kind of misleading on that part. The uh, cheek pads, when you put it on, even though the helmet is kind of big on me, these cheek pads, oh my god, they're super snug. It makes you feel like. I don't know, it just feels so good on your face. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't, it almost has that showy feel, you know, kind of like that real small cushion, soft cushion that just it just sticks to your face and just stays there. Um, so I, I like that part. Then it has this magnetic D-ring thing on them, like, so you see that? Right there, see? There it is. So it clicks in place. I'm not really a fan of that. Doesn't. I don't feel like it, um, provides me with the security of when I'm carrying my helmet or if my helmet kind of like, I don't know if I fall or something like that. I, it just doesn't, I'm, I prefer to snap. So, um, weight, I think it's about 1900 grams or something like that. So just a little bit over four pounds, I think 4.3 pounds. Um, ventilation, let's talk about the ventilation. So you have the face port right here. So you open it close and you have the brow open close then you have the head portion open and it's closed then you have the rear vent back here open and close and then you have these right here that are, are adjustable get fixed uh, it's adequate you know not a big fan of it it works depending on how you face your head you know so if your head is like right there where the uh, windscreen is it'll it'll give you more ventilation um, noise level I think it's too loud because it's too big on me one of the reasons why I think it doesn't work for me is because as I said it's too big so when I put it on I can fit two fingers right here on my brow and it I think this chin curtain is too short, in my opinion. I think it should have been back here. So for vlogging, it, does, it, it doesn't really do me any justice. Let's talk about the face shield. The face shield is pretty, they have this, um, I would say, kind of peculiar way that, they, that you open it, which is the centerfold. So you take it, just open it like that. And um, one bad thing about it is when I have a chin mount, so my, I had a chin mount here, so my, it was, my GoPro was like right about here, and then when it came up, I was not able, once my GoPro was on, I couldn't open my face shield, and that's bad, because 
we're in Alaska. Yeah, I got it. It's cold, but right now we're in the summer, and it gets super hot. So I, I, I just couldn't do it. And then another thing about this face shield is you only have two options: closed or open. That's it. There's no in between. There's no detent, as you call it. See that? All pressurized, and then that's it. It snaps closed. So you can kind of like have it kind of open right there, but how much air are you really getting in there? So don't really like that lift tab right there. And another thing I don't, I'm not a big fan of is it doesn't have pin locks. It does not come straight out of the box with pin locks. If you look, see, you have to purchase an additional face shield in order to get those pin locks. And I'm not about to do that. So each face shield is gonna cost about 60, 70 bucks. And then if I get one, which is going to be the um, the smoke tint one. Now I have to worry about when I'm riding at nighttime, I have to switch them out. And then this one doesn't have a detent. And then I can get the other one that kind of like transit. I can get the transitional one, which is a hundred and some odd dollars. It's like too many factors right there. So fresh out the box, it doesn't have the pin lock. It gets, um, it gets a little misty in there and it falls up. So overall, with the helmet, I'm not really, 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 really too pleased about it. But, I mean, she looks really good. Look at that. I mean, look at that aggressive style that it has. Like, you see? I mean, she's a pretty helmet, but it's just too big on me. Another negative that I find is that it's not intercom friendly. Meaning, when I, when I look under the chin curtain, not under the chin curtain, under the cheek pad, there's no slot for for the Cena's. So if I wanted to purchase a Cena, it would, uh, there was another YouTuber, I'll, 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 I'll leave the, his name in, in the description if I can remember it, or if I can find him on my history just to, you know, give him a shout out, whatever. But he said that he put his Cena on there, in there, but they press up against his ears. So little by little, he had to get used to it. So, but I'm not, I mean, why do all that? So I'm gonna put the helmet on now and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. How it's too, too big on me. And because of that, I think it lets in a lot, of, a, a lot of the unnecessary wind that I don't want. Oh, one thing I do like about it is the, the neck roll. It's a, it's full neck roll. You see that? Like that helps. Like I'm pretty sure if it was my size, that it would uh it will block out a lot of wind. I love that neck roll. I can't I can't say too much. I can't say anything better of it, but I love it. So so here I have it on, right? So two fingers. Straight, you see that? Straight in there, up to the knuckle. Too big. Too big, but here's here's what I'm talking about. Look, look how snug these things are. Look at this. Man, that thing is, it just feels good. So, that's why I, I'm choosing to return it. They've already accepted my return, so I will return it. But overall, I think if the helmet fit, it would work. It's not meant to vlog. So, if you're vlogging, you may want to find a side way to put it on, or maybe go even lower. Maybe I just went too high on the chin mount and then work your way around it but these helmets are not meant for that so i do understand that but at the same time that's what i want it for so if i'm going to pay 500 dollars for a helmet i'm going to make sure that the helmet is going to do what i want it to do other than protect me of course so yeah the bell star the bell street star good helmet not for vlogging in my opinion, but it's a really good helmet. It looks really good, it feels really good. If it fit, if it really fit on you, I'm pretty sure it will work very well. It'll be a lot more quieter. This thing is, I like it. Don't get me wrong, I do like it. All right, one more thing. I'm gonna show you what comes in the box, which is going to be the instructions right there. And then this, this bag is also awesome. like, really, they really made a good bag. The choice of professionals, like that. Then you have the inside, it's nice and soft. So, I mean, it's a very nice bag. They did a really good job. Star, Bell, 
So that's what comes in the box. All right. So this was my review on the Bell Street Star. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Any any type of feedback would be good. If I forgot something, let me know. If I put too, if if I put too much in there, let me know. Um, constructive criticism is always welcome. So remember, guys, stay stressed, obsessed, and blessed with life. Sob. Cruising R6 out.